Welcome back to Do It Yourself Full Range Hi-Fi Speakers. As you know, I've been uh, building these little amps uh, on a trial basis just to see what sounds good. And now with this one, I think we found it. It's a TDA7498E amplifier. Cost me about $45 Australian, so what, $30 US plus a $20 uh, 36-volt power supply and a couple of switches and uh, connectors. So all up about 50 odd dollars, a, no, sorry, $70 Australian. And uh, very happy with the result. It's quiet, it sounds good, it's got plenty of power so far that I've tested it and ultimately I'll put it on some bigger speakers just to see how much volume we can get from it. So sit back and watch my build video starting with the side panels coming up very soon. Just a quick short today showing the new side panels for the upcoming 2.1 amplifier Mark III. Uh, it's um, done on my um, little um, thingy bob sled on my table and the cuts are three mil deep and spaced at seven mil uh, side to side. So there's a four mil louver. I think I'm pretty happy with the way this has turned out. It was my first try and I think it looks great. I'm going to do the opposite side now. And um, <clears throat> yeah, pretty happy with it. So you can look at the picture and see the markings I made to space the 7 mil gaps on the sled. And I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. It looks great. Of course, I started with measuring up the amplifier plate and the power supply and sketching up how they'd lay out on the base board first and working out the dimensions of the cabinet for the cutting. Welcome back to Do It Yourself Full Range Hi-Fi Speakers. It's Peter from Sydney. And I've got a new amp build going on. This is a TDA 7498E, 160 watts per channel, plus 220 to a passive sub. Got plenty of power. I'm looking forward to listening to this. And uh, my last amp was only 50 plus 50 plus 100. Uh, 3116 amplifier. So this um, front panel has a USB in and a little control on the right for switching tracks and a couple of other functions. So I needed to make the front panel accessible. So I've cut a groove into my front panel. Um, so it's the thickness of the panel was 25 mil. So I've gone in about six mil into the panel. There's a three mil lip uh, and the three, the uh, cut all the way through is only oh, about 20 millimeters across uh, for the width of the, almost the width of the front panel of the amp. And the last picture, just a nice shot of the router table with the panel. Uh, before I'd started the cutting on it and uh, showing the two horizontal uh, grooves I've put in the front face for aesthetics. I think it looks quite nice. Three mil deep. Uh, I think there's a three mil gap between. And by the way, this wood is silky ash. It's uh, very nice looking and really nice to work. That's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something and uh, we'll get this uh, video finished in a couple of weeks. Just a couple of more, <clears throat> more photos of the uh, build. 
we've got the back panel there with the power socket and I'm placing the amp and the power supply on the bottom panel. I'm cutting out for the uh, air vents in the base. I put an air vent in the bottom and one in the top uh, with the theory that it's going to draw cold air in from below and then uh, it'll exhaust out the top. Uh, then we started the wiring up and I've got a little video coming up very shortly here. So I finally wired this up with the little LED switch here, nice little blue colour. And we've got an LED on the power supply. Uh, we did get 36 volts on the meter, which is nice. It's what we're looking for. And we've got a little LED and you can see the fan is spinning on the heat sink. So yeah, ready to do the final assembly on the cabinet. Thanks for watching. A few shots of the final cabinet assembly. So I've glued the base to the front panel and the side panels. So they're a solid construction. <clears throat> and I'm screwing in the back panel and the top panel so that if I ever have to open it up again and I can disassemble it pretty much 100% uh, if I need to and uh, yeah this this is the back panel you can see the grill I've inserted in the top On the first day of the journey, the traveler was prepared. Words of consolation were never heard. He didn't know where he was going, just a poem in his mind. And all the things he valued in Running for the money, running for the fame, lost where he was going and forgot his name. The promised land was waiting. His vision led him on The only promises were waiting For the rest of God So he asked a band of travelers Who turned the other way and Left him in the wilderness To face the day That was Alan Taylor playing The Traveller, one of my favourite blues songs. Uh, look him up, he's uh, got a fantastic repertoire. And uh, I'm going to finish it there, folks. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for joining me on this journey of discovery with full range hi-fi speakers. Oh, by the way, they were my Visiton of FR10HM 4 ohm speakers playing that song uh, with a little tiny Samsung subwoofer um, just to fill out and give it a bit more warmth. Great sound and it plays well on every genre of music that I've tried. Classical, rock, uh, it, it just seems to do everything. 
It's a great little amp and I'm really, really pleased with it. My next project is my final pair of Visiton FR10s. I'm going to put them in a much smaller cabinet than what I've done and see if we still get as good a sound. So we we'll just started that today. So watch out for that one. Thanks for watching. All the best. Happy full ranging. Bye for now.